walks alone, looking for everyone and their shadow. From beneath his black cloak, few parts of him are exposed. Lifting his seemingly frail yet resolute arm, he points at a small house as if he was caressing it from afar. This house must bear the burden of his presence. His face without skin smiles with a toothy grin. Holes black and deep where I should be. Pale yellow bone weathered and pocked with time. This face would not do for such a gentle charge. In place of this face, a wrinkled visage, gaunt and tired. An old beggar's facade, painted with despair, likely to provoke kindness. He glides across the hard soil as the wind blows over the trees. A chill and snap of frost left in his wake. He knocks on the hard wooden door and exhales with the silent scream of souls on his tongue. Inside this humble little home, we see a woman all alone. In grief, she cries for her only child, its, brown, its blonde braids fair, its temperament mild. Till coughing strikes that shred and rip, high fever, throbbing head, pressing with pulse-pounding pain that tears the temples and shreds the sinus. He knocks on the door once more. I'll be there in a minute. She tucks the child in as it shudders in a dreamless sleep. She opens the small but heavy wooden door to find the withered hands of an old beggar. These hands belong to the loneliest face she has ever seen. Could you spare some meat and drink to a poor old soul like me? said the old beggar, and in that whisper, the child was gone. <laughs> With winged feet, she bolts out of the door after her stolen child. She sees a dark figure in the distance, and she tries to gain on him. He glides farther away into the black of the forest. Running blindly through the forest, the sun just begins to set behind the nearby mountains. With these fragile rays of light, she sees a clearing, and her dark tormentor at the banks of a frozen river. walks across a frozen river, not making even the smallest of cracks. With courage, only a mother's love can give. She braves the ice. river flowing beneath her. The ice was getting thinner, and she more desperate. The cloaked figure turns back, and from his eyes, the blindly pure light of heaven, and the cleansing fire of hell, And there was darkness.
she wakes up to a sweet voice. Through the darkness comes the light. 